Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel. Today we're going to be playing another episode of The Witcher 3. So last episode, we helped Siri tie up some loose ends around the Velen Novigrad area. And honestly, it was a really heartwarming, touching time to just kind of go around to the places that we had already been in the game looking for her and see the friends that she's made along the way, the connections that she's made. It was honestly a little bit sad because it's like she is afraid of the unknown and she wants to make sure that she has paid her respects to everyone that helped her along this journey so far. It was a very fun quest for me because we got to finally hang out with Siri and actually spend some quality time with her and see where she's been. We've had our little talks here and there along the travels. It was a really wholesome experience to see where Siri's been and who took care of her and pay some respects to them. So we ended last episode on not such a wholesome note where Dijkstra ended up turning against us. Well, not technically us, Geralt, people that we had been fighting alongside and tried to murder them. I was expecting Dijkstra to be a really great roller and I'm not really sure how his reign would have gone if he hadn't have tried to murder our friends in front of us. But I couldn't in my right mind just let that happen i feel like Geralt wouldn't have let that happen um i feel like i need to read the books and play the witcher 2 to actually understand the lore behind what we should have done in that moment but everything that i have learned so far in the witcher 3 i could not let him just murder them in front of me and walk away and say okay well, there's that. It seemed like very out of character for Dijkstra as well. And we kind of talked about that a little bit. Apparently the writers did have a moment of, we don't really know what to do. So we're just going to make this the worst side quest possible, which is super unfortunate. I think that it could have gone better in a multitude of ways. Um, it is a side quest and I'm sticking by my guns of like, if I, when I do play this game again, and I start another playthrough off screen, I'm probably just going to skip that entire side quest. That's how disgruntled I was by it. So I know today we're gonna go see Yen and see how she's gotten along with the lodge and some of the sorceresses. We did find Philippa last time. So Philippa is now with us technically. Um, hopefully now that we've helped her, she's gotten her revenge on Radovid. She seems like she's in a good place place now. She's not an owl anymore. She's gotten her revenge. Dijkstra is no longer an issue. Hopefully, fingers crossed that Philippa will help us along our journey as well. But I am curious to see who Yen onboarded and if the Lodge is actually on our side to help us in this conquest to help Siri win the fight against the wild hunt so it feels like we're we're gearing up for some really really awesome episodes and i'm very excited to hop in today so without further ado let's go Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends the wild hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic so triss and yen set out to reconvene the lodge of sorceresses avalach too began to lay plans of his own the Elven Sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Ternalia. There they found Aradin's viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper. Yup. Oh, that's cool. I thought that last time that loading screen was buggy because it was just like super silent for a long time. But it, it makes sense now because we went to go see Giels and he's on our side now. And that was the rest of that that I was like, hmm, is my game loading? Is my game about to crash? But it was just um, the next part of the conquest. So that's actually really cool that it updates like that. I guess depending on how the conversation goes. I wonder if you can fail the conversation with Gilles. I feel like we did have some options to kind of be like nicer to him or more rude. <laughs> so I wonder if that could have gone differently. Oh, that was a really, oh, that's a really bad vomit sound. Oh, I think I'm more sensitive because my family just went through. Oh my gosh, it was the worst week of my life, guys. It was the worst week of my life. 
Um, that's why this video is coming out a little later today. I am actually filming this the same day that it's coming out. Um, and we have had a vomit everything else virus going on in our household and it has been a week it has been a, a very long week so that vomit that vomit noise look it's again <laughs> so loud in here Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlarith, was that your idea of series? Um, I'm not gonna throw either one of us under the bus today, Yen. Spare me your lecture about responsibility. I was actually going to recite an anthem praising your glory, but if you're not in the mood. No, no, it was my doing. It was my. <laughs> so you're not mad? thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what is. That is one thing that I will say about Yen. Um, and I should have known that coming into it. I don't know why I was so like on edge for a second there. Um, but she does the same thing to us all the time where it's like she seems super irresponsible at, at, at the moment and then once everything works out it's like well that's what I was set out to do so yeah she does not bother with the what ifs at all also look at this lady just dancing behind Carol with like the side eye it's very intense she's like staring again down talk to Tris reconvening the lodge it's not going so well. Dangerous times, especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out, and I can't blame them. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Triss and I found her and freed her. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, gonna tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. Okay, who's the guy? What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Can't tell if we know him or if all of the NPCs just kind of have that face. <laughs> Abe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. He just has that Damn. face. What? That scrawny little guy was able to shove Geralt out of the way. No shot. <laughs> Get back here. Yeah, I don't think we know him. I think he just has that face. I feel like we've taken a contract from this guy before. What is he doing? Guess I'm in for a roof walk. Grab his foot. Grab his body. Oh my god, this is <laughs> What's happening now? Don't worry, after you. After you. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Sarah, can we talk? Can we talk, please? Thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be. Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shit between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. 
No, not really. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me. No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, well, so be it. But we, uh, we really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. That was the silliest. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. <laughs> Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll, they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. Heard no one gets out alive. What about the guard? Um... Did he mention a guard? Yeah, I guess I'll say the first one. Maybe he'll give us more information if I'm like more vague. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. Oh. They didn't start burning them until they'd learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. Hmm. So how did you fake your death? So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprentice with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms were that to be my fate. It's smart. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. Choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew to folk torture every day the wheel the rack we only knew peace on holidays when they drink themselves blind they're allowed to drink on duty oh, not officially but you know how it is mm, okay that could be a way just get them wasted is there a holiday coming up so theoretically we could get in the way you got out Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? Yeah, I was about to say. I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. Okay, I think we've asked him everything. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. Interesting what he said about the guards. Yeah, about them drinking. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Yeah. Sultan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Okay. I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds, but the madness. Well, you know. All right, so let's go ah! talk to. Sorry. <laughs> let's go talk to Zoltan. It's optional, but I think it would help out a lot if we got some of those guards a little bit drunk. So let's go see what he's up to. Maybe though will like conveniently be a holiday or we'll make up a holiday. <laughs> Snakes town as well. So what's it gonna be? It's like 4 a.m. There's it's a party in here. Zoltan. Get out. Um, need your help to free Margarita. They're holding Margarita at Dayrod. 
got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakaman as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mage has left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf flinging around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Hmm, okay. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. I wonder if that has anything to do with like the rain, the king being dead, I don't like Radovid being dead, Dijkstra, I don't know. All of these questions, I wonder. I had some. All right, so let's go out and meet Yen. It seems like she's pretty Happiness far away. Today. So, can we fast travel near her? Meet Yennefer at the bridge to Oxenford. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if that like would have changed things if Sultan was actually able to help us, or if that's always just like, no, sorry, things are really bad right now. Oh, All right, she should be. Yeah. Oh, here she is. Find a way in. Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. We shall enter the prison through the well. Okay. Sure, the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novigrad's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. Interesting. I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Okay. She is doing like the lightest jog. We can't do light jog. We've got sprint and we've got walking. And like even our light jog is like so much faster than hers. <laughs> Come on, Yen. Put your little legs to work. Know what they say about you, lot? If you seek justice, hire a witch. Here we are. This is it. Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Okay. But I thought, yeah, I thought you would come with me. Not coming. Mucking through ruins and sewers? Hmm. I'd rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. <laughs> Wet clothes. Oh, joy. Yeah, no wonder why Yen doesn't want to go down there. All right, is there a ladder or just plop in there? There's nothing. <gasps> All right, looks like there's a chest down there. Ooh, there's a couple things down here. It's super dark. I think I'm gonna drink some potion after this. Faustino, superior full moon. I thought there was something else over here. I guess not. Oh yeah, it's like a little, I don't actually know what that is. Maybe like a sack or something? It could be a chest. It's just like lodged weird. Yeah, I think it is a chest. Can I get to it? There we go. Steer diagram. Okay. There's one more chest, like, all the way down there. I'm trying to decide if I should take the cat potion or not.
I think I should, because I can't see anything. Is it already on my wheel? Thunderbolt, swallow, no, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take a cat potion. I can't see anything. I think it's brown. Yeah, this one. Replace it with our chicken sandwich. <laughs> I was using that during our crazy time traveling experience when we had to like run through the snow, the really cold areas. Search the ruins. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to go this way. What's this? <laughs> Tomb Raider. Seems this one liked Elven stuff. <laughs> I thought maybe we could loot him. There's a hag of some sort in there. But I saw something in here. There's a big chest up here. There's a couple chests. The tamer diagram. <laughs> and a blade. Nice. Oh, that's creepy looking. Okay. It says that I can keep going this way. How? Oh, no, 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 it's a dead end, okay. There's something over there. Oh, that's a hag. Wasn't anything, was it? Oh, what's this? Mechanism's broken. Missing a piece. Replace it with something else, maybe? Okay. Missing a piece. Alright, let's check this room. Can I go down? Is this the room I was first in? Yeah, because this is the chest that I looted. Interesting. Okay, how did I miss this chest? I don't see anything in here. Oh, look, another lever. I missed this the first time. This will come in handy. All right, so we'll take that. And we should just be able to go back this way, right? Put the lever over here. That ought to do it. Pull the lever crunk. Hmm. Okay. Gosh, it's so dark in here. Wall There's something in the wall, yeah. I'm just gonna check over here. Make sure I'm not missing any loot. Mm, there is some stuff down here, actually. I'm gonna go grab this real quick. Oh, there's a dead body down there. That's really gross. Go down. Oh, that's weird. He's not diving. I'm pressing C. <laughs> What the heck? That's so strange. Why aren't you diving? I 
want to I want to dive. I'm like pressing C as hard as I can. Um okay. I'm just going to keep pressing it. Maybe it will eventually let me do it. No, I want to check what's down there. Oh, that's super annoying. I don't know why we can't dive right now. It was working fine earlier. So weird. Okay, game. Okay, you win again. Right, there was a lot of stuff going on in here. Yeah, some ghouls. Another dead body. Ew. Oh, there's a lot of dead bodies. Okay. Once I saw it, I got really creeped out. There's so much. Oh, okay. All right. So we made a hole in that wall. I guess I can't get out that way. Okay, so we gotta go this way. There's a door. What's this? anyone was up here. What's this? Oh, a sewer key. Nice. Okay. What about this? Okay. Black unicorn. Is that all that's in here? I kind of want to go see what's down here. I don't... What is this one? I feel like there's multiple ways to go. Ah, oh, I see. So what happens if I go, like, out this way? Do I go into the prison? I'm kind of nervous to go out this way. Is it just, like, the cellar area, I guess? <gasps> See? What are you on? Did I find her? Margarita. Who? Who? Who's that? Geralt. God, I'm hallucinating. Getting you out of here. No chance. We'll both die in here. No. Sheila. Oh my God. They captured her first. Her condition's critical. She looks very dead. It's pointless. Oh, she's moving. They'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back. All right, we got to go get that key. So maybe to like escape is where we were before. Um, where we could like open up the sewer wall doors and stuff like that. So we gotta go upstairs. I'm just checking around for like loot and open doors. Ooh, there's something in there that's red. Anything in here? Gosh, it's so dark in here.
So he should be up here. Oh, of course, we're out in the daylight now. All right, let's get some like white honey. <laughs> Like, I understand it being super dark out, dark inside all the time because there's no electricity, but it's just, it's so dark. <laughs> Extremely dark. <gasps> Nothing in here. All right, let me see what's up here real quick. Is that him? Come on, over here! Oh, they're dead. Okay. That was fast. Yep, definitely not them. There's another chest over here. Wondrous World... Oh, we've read that one. Wondrous World of Insectoids. Okay, so he's not there. He must be, like, out here. Raise the barricades! Archers on the roof! Ooh, I'm like stuck in there. Okay. I need to get those archers. back from that super fast oh no i honestly didn't even see my health dip down i wasn't paying attention to my health at all i thought we were doing good i didn't even think we got like a couple hits in i guess we did we're just gonna have to be more <laughs> more careful Idea. All right, let's get this guy first. I'm just kidding. Okay, okay, okay. Take some potions. Take some of that. Probably get some, like, Quen. It's actually the archers. It's probably the archers. Yeah, so let's try to get them first. There's one. And I think there's one more up here. Oh, I thought there was no, another archer up here. Uh, okay, nice. Yeah. All right, so let's get Axie back. Shit yourself out of fear. Oh. He's done. Watch out for him. Big chonkers. meant to block that all right there's another archer i'm gonna go try to get him no he's reloading nice all right now i need to get this guy never fight a witcher okay we need to get the other one for that for that dude the ones with the shields are so annoying Let me get this guy first, and then I'll get the other dude. There we go. Okay, gotta wait for that to come back. Or maybe I can try to, like, parry. There we go. Prison warden. Ah, oh, so the, the big guy. Let's go. Oh, graphic. <laughs> Search the commander's body. All right. Nice. That wasn't bad at all. I'm just going to loot real quick. Loot, loot, loot. Take all their chicken. Lots of sheepskin. 
Alright, I wonder if there's anything else. Why do all these people have black magic dolls? Like, for a bunch of, like, witch hunters, you think that they wouldn't have that. They would think it's too, like, you know, taboo to be holding a witch. I guess maybe they confiscated it off people, but... I don't know. It just seems... Seems strange. Broken rake. This guy does not have much. How to avoid colossal vessels? I don't think we've read this one yet. On the rolling deep, when there's nothing to rest your eyes upon, save the horizon. You get lulled into a false sense of security, which can easily spell your doom. For no man knows the day or the hour, nor does any sailor know when a small dot on the edge of his vision will turn into a Nilfgaardian Draman racing towards him. Its sails puffed full and its prow ready to cleave his hull like an axe. Prevention is the first and best way to avoid such collisions. You must keep your eyes pried, wide open, even when the waters are smooth as newborn tinder quarters, <laughs> and there's not a speck or land, nor a hint of foreign flag to be seen. When vision fails in the dark or murk, one must keep an ear cocked, especially in the waters near Skellige, for the oarsmen of the archipelago, ar archipel archipel oh, okay, add muster to their rowing with song, and their thunderous voices carry far so they can often be heard before they are seen. And it's a powerful boon that they must thus reveal themselves, for a collision with a Skellige longship damns one doubly, for the vessel itself is armored prow to stern, which inside are ferocious battle-hardened warriors. I couldn't even imagine living in times where like the main way to get around was by boat. It's pretty crazy list of prisoners Blake's imprisoned the third of Burke for the use of magic admitted no guilt despite a, despite exhaustive interrogation died during questioning on the 7th jeez imprisoned by magic admitted his guilt on the 10th sentenced to pyre burned at stake hey it's margarita imprisonment for the six, on the 6th of Burke for the use of magic has admitted no guilt. So not pleading not guilty. Recommendation enhanced interrogation. Keth imprisoned soothsaying. Admitted to no guilt, sentenced to death by pyre. Jeez. Elven Witch of the Forest imprisoned, sentenced to death by pyre for cursing the residents of Oxenford. Sorceress Zelona. Sentenced to death by fire. Do we know any of these people? Hunt? Dragon bird? Second child. Elvin Diviner crazed and imprisoned for inciting discord and hatred for the church. <laughs> Appears comatose, uncommunicative, possible ruse. The Seeker. Wow, there's so many people listed on here. I don't really recognize any of the names right off the bat, but you guys all know that I am horrible with names. So <laughs> um, some of that could be like super lore filled. All right, not much in here. So let's get back down to Margarita. Um, hang on, let me check this room over here real quick. It goes like up more. The digger diagram, okay. All right, so let's get back down. Go free these poor people. It sounds like they've been through a lot of stuff. We could go back down this way. Yeah. 
Um, before I do that, and I know it sounds strange, but I want to see what this red thing is over here. I want to unlock this. I'm scared it's going to, like, take me away once I unlock her. Trapped mage's notes. Dear Lizzie, I will be leaving here soon. I bought off a guard with a few potions and the promise of reward once I am secure in my freedom. Prepare yourself. We will have to flee. Pack only what is absolutely necessary. Take bandages and ointments. They have not treated me too kindly. But do not fear. Another day or two and we will be together. The guard swore on his mother's grave that he will get me out of here. Wait for me. You're Bernard. I'm guessing... He didn't make it out if his love letter is still here. You're free. Thank you. Be careful now. Don't let him get you. Run away. Can we free everyone in here? God's reward you. Is anyone in here? Thank you. Aww. Thank you, sir. This is so sad. Did we loot this already? Oh, maybe because I died. I was like, I'm pretty sure I did loot that already. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably because I... I died trying. All right, let's open this one too. Okay. Let's get them out now. What are you doing? Yen insisted on coming. Rita! Sheila! When I get my hands on the sons of bitches... Yenna! I shan't make it. Hold on! You must hold on! Oh, man. <laughs> Can't she heal her, like, here? Or I guess she has to draw power from somewhere. I'm dying, Yana. I'm a sorceress. Let me die with dignity. I'll do it. Let's go. What's I'll do it? Like, I'll kill her? What? Do sorceresses want you to kill them? Is that how they die with dignity? Oh, that sounds terrible. I can't do it. Let's just go. Let's... Mm. Can't we take her with us and heal her? Yen, we should go. <gasps> Nothing we can do to save her. No. no. But we can help her die the way she wants to. I won't do it. I will. Oh, that's so sad. I'm confused. Why couldn't she just Come. like heal her? We must hurry. If they use the portal, I don't know. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. Yeah, like I could have taken her and then Yen yeah, could have taken the other. Why didn't she? What? I thought that like sorceresses could heal even on the brink of death. I feel like that's messed up that they did that to her. Oh, that's so sad. All right, so let's get out of here. And she even used power to like kill her. Why couldn't she just try and heal a little bit and then we could leave? I feel like I've seen them cure way worse ailments before. All right, so I think we're supposed to go up here. Back this way. I didn't see an exit this way. Maybe I missed a door or something? Oh, this way. Okay. Nice. Meet Yennefer at the Lodge of Sorceresses at Dandelion's Inn. Okay. 
Whoa. Oh, these poor people in the town. It's gotten so much worse. All right, let me go see if I can find a fast travel. I feel like there was one up north here or south, I guess. Oh no, I guess not. We can go to Western Gate. Scrum before I lose my patience. Gosh. The conditions here are so terrible. They've gotten so much worse. I was so excited. I thought that like having Dijkstra be the new ruler would change things like overnight. Like we wouldn't have to deal with this anymore. And it's just, it's really sad. I, that's the whole reason why I wanted to do that side quest was because I thought that Dijkstra would help. It just didn't turn out the way that I thought it would. From the Yaruga to the Dragon Mountain. Is she upstairs? Which? It even sounds bad. She upstairs again. Oh, there she is. Oh, it's Siri. Geralt. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They don't bite. Not <laughs> good. What about? They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Okay, I'll go with you. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Hmm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Oh, you got. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Um, okay. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor, but the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. With the Lodge, someone's always in charge. The Lodge is wanted by the law. You'll be on the run again. I think I'm gonna say the first one. Yeah, with the lodge, someone's always in charge. Because she doesn't like being told what to do, like at all, ever. It just, it's not something that she can handle very well. I'm gonna say the first one. No equality in the lodge. That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I feel like I do trust Avalok more that more now that we did the whole Giel's mission. Um, plus, he has looked out for Siri in many ways. But I want Siri to make this decision. He, I mean, we we came in here and we told them that we would be a wallflower. So I want Siri to make her decision. I'm just kind of here for like moral support. 
I don't trust him, I don't trust you, but that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Yeah. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. Interesting. I wonder what she'll decide. I know she really enjoys her time with Avalok because she feels safe with him, even if we don't 100% trust so, him. Um, I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. Interesting. All right, so we have a character update for Philippa. And looks like we're going to go meet Avalok now as part of our battle preparations. Um, I do want to read the update. I also have two points to put in here. I think I might wait um, for a little bit. Because I don't think I can upgrade any of these yet. Um, oh, on Seal. Carol's and I both knew Seal de Tansarville, the recluse of Covier, the once proud member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, who in her day plotted, persuaded, and spellcast the world into a shape of her liking. Seal always claimed she acted only out of concern for the good of magic and mankind, yet the blood of a great many people stained her hands, including that of kings who stood in the way of her aims. She took part in countless, countless conspiracies and herself devised many intrigues in which the Witcher often figured an unwitting accomplice, obstacle, or incidental victim. Thus, Geralt's prior meetings with the sorceress was stormy at best. On at least one occasion, it would be said that Geralt saved Seal's life, but this did not mean he felt very warmly about her. Be that it may, the slight of the tortured and maimed sorceress in King Radovid's dungeon made the witcher's cold heart swell with sorrow and sympathy. So we know her probably from like the witcher too. Perhaps in these feelings or perhaps it was simply respect for a defeated former enemy now suffering at the hands of cruel fanatics that made Geralt take pity on her. Aware of what fate awaited her if she lived, Seal was grateful to be getting, given a dignified death, one free from torment and humiliation. So sad. Um, all right. So which other one? Philippa's updated. It's super interesting. I understand why they want her to join the sorceresses. I just can't picture Siri being a part of the lodge. I just I don't really see her being happy there just because she is such a nomad. Um, and she I don't know, I just don't think that she would be happy there. Though the Lodge's prior actions were highly controversial, Philippa stubbornly worked towards its reconstitution, offering Ciri the chance to join it as a full and equal member. One can call historical justice the fact that Philippa Eilhart, Radovid's old tutor, ended the crazed monarch's life. In doing so, she exacted revenge for her blinding and the death of the persecution of her fellow mages, so many of whom had died in agony on Radovid's orders. Okay, I think we read that one before when we did... So this is like a little bit out of line. Um, so not really a huge update, but an update nonetheless. Well, well, another free. How much for the next? All right, so I'm gonna sell some stuff to this bartender real quick. This Greetings, White Wolf. What comforts might we provide today? And then we'll be on our way. What do you have to drink that's good? perfume mm, apple juice i don't think i've seen apple juice yet oh a piece of chocolate that sounds delicious um i usually sell all of my beer but i don't see we have we don't have any beer today 
All right, let's sell all these weird voodoo dolls, all of that, this. Do I need this? Take care now. So let's go find Avalok. It looks like he's on the ship. What is the next part? Actually, I'm not going to read the journal. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to do it. Oh, I really like reading the journal before I start doing a quest, but I have been given so many spoilers by the journal. I just refuse to read it now. So we'll just go and meet Avalok. I don't even remember what we're meeting him for. The last time we saw Avalok, he was with us on our mission to Giel's. And I think that's about it. I can't remember what he was going to go off and do. Alright, so over here... Also, if I find another, like, swordsmith or weaponsmith or whatever, I'll really go talk to him. I think we have a lot of, like, random maces and daggers that we need to sell. Alright, we're almost there. Oh, look, they're all here. protect Ciri from the wild hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. Secured them amnesty? Really? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I hear right. You convinced the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Siri. Hmm. Huh. Got a hard time believing yeah. Emperor go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. The Emperor, really? Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How would Rita know the Emperor hid that from you? Yeah, I am. Um, I want to ask both of these things. I mainly want to talk about the Emperor hiding that mm. from her. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. Especially if you think that you're going to get people pardoned. Yet, uh, I don't know. I just have a very strange feeling about that. Also, I like how Yen is all like hooded up. And so is Triss when we were walking around Belen with her. Or, yeah, we're in Belen, right? And like Philippa, the most wanted lady, like wanted posters all over every single building in this place. And she's just freely walking around in her normal clothes i don't know why i think that's i just think it's really funny all are present you were the last to arrive might we set sail yes anchors away
king of the Wild Hunt sailed aboard the Nagalfair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aerodin into a trap. Oh, it's so pretty. That settles the question of his Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. A big army. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. True. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me to the Emperor ship? I don't even know what the Sunstone is. I don't. What is the Sunstone? I'm like imagining a stone with like a picture of a sun on it. I don't know what exactly it is. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Gelban and Dillion of the White Fleet? He's very disappointed about this. <laughs> I'm more interested in how to use it. I want to know about the legend. Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillian. Yet she spurned him. <clears throat> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillian a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillian's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. All right, well, how do we use it? What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. Makes With sense. a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. They're vomiting? <laughs> what are these sorceresses doing? Can't they, like, conjure up an ailment for, like, seasickness? I'm just... What can a sorcerer... I'm... I, maybe I need to read the... I know I need to read the Witcher books. I just felt like sorceresses could do more stuff. I don't know. Like, I was very taken back that they couldn't heal. Um... Gosh, I forget her name already. The one that died in the prison. I was very taken back that they couldn't at least heal her a little bit. I don't know. Um, and now they're down there seasick. Like, don't they have herbs for that or something? The sunstones in Skellige? The spell? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is. I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. Okay. Well, can you teleport me to the Emperor ship? So we're gonna ask around the port and see him. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. So they know we're here? Think they know we're here? Amir's mages, 
Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but- Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. All right. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. Interesting. It probably has like stipulations in it, I guess. We would remind him of what he promised and what he'll get in return. Okay. I'm off. Seems sketchy, but. Good luck. I'll have to figure out how to sneak on this boat. Ask Crack where Ermion is. All right. I'm going to read this letter. Your Imperial Majesty, allow me to remind you that our arrangement encompassed all the sorceresses wishing to take part in the risky endeavor whose success is so vital to us. I find it hard to believe that in the current situation, when I have already succeeded in gathering so many members of the Lodge, you would refuse to allow Frangilla Vigo to join our company. I understand there are personal factors that would make you reluctant to part with your subject, but I assure you our interests are aligned in those matters as well. I promise that I will uphold the conditions of our arrangement, despite the fact that they will be they will demand sacrifices of me and will leave me in an unfortunate situation. I therefore request politely, yet with great insistence, that you release Frangilla. With all due respect. Uh, I'm guessing she, yeah, Yen. Well, we'll see if it actually happens. All right, so let me look at the, I wanna look at the journal just to see, we've got a couple things going on here right now. We actually have three things. So we need to ask Crack where Ermion is. Sneak onto the Emperor's flagship under cover of the darkness and find the Sunstone. <laughs> so why do we need to ask Crack again? I think I missed part of that. Geralt knew that he would only defeat Aridin with the help of mages and on his own terms. Since the King of the Wild Hunt was traveling on Nag Naglfa Naglfar, the spectral vessel known as from Skellige legends, somewhere between worlds, our heroes had to summon him back and somehow cut off his escape route. Such a feat could only be performed by a group of mages acting in concert and aided by a legendary elven artifact, the Sunstone. Okay, so we need Ermion to try to get this Sunstone back, I think is what I'm getting from that. Uh, because Ermion is a mage, so I guess we just need more hands on deck, so we need to ask him where Ermion is. As an attentive reader, you surely must remember, I'm reading through this because I just, I, there's a lot going on. I'm so scared it's going to give me a spoiler, but I'm just going to keep reading. Um, as an attentive reader, you must surely remember that the Wild Hunt could only be defeated with the help of powerful magic. For this reason, Geralt had recruited the most powerful sorceresses in the world, both those he liked and those he utterly detested to join his cause. When a chance arose to add Frangilla Vigo to the roster, Geralt seized it without a moment's hesitation and went straight away to the Emperor's ship where the dark-haired sorceress was being held. Okay, so we need to free her because she obviously would be super helpful um, to us. And then that's just along the lines of battle preparations. Pick Frangilla up on the Emperor's ship, find the sunstone so i think since it is nighttime right i thought you'd wish to see croc just... um let's go ahead and go on his ship is his ship nearby where is his ship stationed oh it's like all the way over there well i could go talk to Ermion, uh, Crack first and go find Ermion. Good this time, like my mother did. Yeah, they're very close. So let's go ahead and just do that first and then I'll take a boat or a fast travel over to the ship. I feel like I shouldn't see anyone who 
Is there a way to get off this boat normal? I wonder if I can talk to Siri. Got a minute? Of course. Ooh, we can ask her questions. Before you returned, where were you? What do you do? We already asked that one. What's it like to travel between worlds? We asked that too. I need your advice it's about Yennefer. How does Aridin locate you? Ooh, these two, I don't think we've asked her yet. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere mm -hmm. once it's over. Someplace picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. Oh. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala or maybe Dolblathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. Oh, that's super sweet. <laughs> Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. Interesting. I should go. All right. We'll talk like later. Like a shockwave. That was cool. Can we talk to Triss too? Yes, Geralt? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer... ...that you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. We never even really, like, honestly gave Triss the time of day. At least not in The Witcher 3. Um, she did have, like, that drunken night where she tried to love on us. And even though she wasn't really drunk, I'm pretty sure she was faking it. Um, we had, like, that awkward encounter. But other than that, it really hasn't been all that. But I'm, I'm guessing we're foreshadowing all the way back to, like, the loss of memory, all of that stuff. We seem to harp on it a lot. So long, Triss. I didn't think we were going to have some, like, tea with that conversation. I thought that she was, like, pretty much over it, but... Okay. Geralt? Um, okay. And we've asked her everything, too. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Okay, cool. I like being able to talk to, like, the crewmate... <laughs> or people that we've, like, been running with. Like, the, the conversation with Siri was really cool. I didn't know we could ask her even more questions. Yes, Geralt. Ooh, we can ask him a lot. Why are you helping Siri? You imprisoned Siri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward, a daughter even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. Wow, well, that actually makes a lot of sense. We want to protect her because we love her. He wants to protect her because if she does get into the hands of the wild hunt, it's over. Like, it's just, it. we're living in a different world at that point. Um, interesting. I never really, I mean, I've thought about it like that, uh, but I've never really, I've thought maybe you'd be like, because I care about her or whatever, but he, he make, he's making it very clear that he doesn't really care about Siri as a person. He just wants to make sure that the blood within Siri is in our capable hands um, and not 
elsewhere where the world could be changed completely. Interesting. Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Eridin here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Whoa, that was weird. That's exactly why I don't want Siri to join them. Like, I feel like there's so much, like, drama that happens within this sorceress lodge. And they all hate each other secretly. They all have their own vendettas against one another. They'll be cordial in times of need, but... For the most part, there's a lot of like rare and it's just I don't really see Siri being a part of all of that. I don't think that she's that type of woman at all. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything if that's your question. Mm. Charming world you and Elle have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell it's me, beautiful. how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Oh. Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Wow. Tell me something more about wow. Karanthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. <laughs> Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. So long. Do we have a journal entry for him? Yeah, and I think I've already read this one, too. A master of more immediate forms of transport. Calling on arcane magic, Carinthir would guide the riders of the hunt along mystical pathways. Yeah, yeah. I think we have read this one before. Okay. So let's go out and ask where Hermion is. Got me eye on you. Look, it's crack. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs, they bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An on crate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. <laughs> no hard foes, we show our axe. All right. That. So let's go see if maybe we can Something fast travel there. Because I think they're pretty far up north. Oh, south. Yeah, they're pretty far away. Holmstein's port. Alright. So we'll head over here. Is there a weaponsmith in this town? Mm, just all the way up there. Okay. We'll make a stop when we're closer. I just have some like knives and random blades to sell. Okay. Went after that bear with what a knife? What was he to Who there with So let's take this fast travel. We'll take it all the way down this port. I don't think we've ever been in here before. I recognize your type in my little that oddball. Wonder if there's a weaponsmith in this town. Doesn't look like it. Is 
Your notes here? Yeah. Look, look. Let's go. All right. So let's see. He should be over in this like castle of some sort. I don't think we've been up here yet. I feel like we really didn't get to explore much of Skellige as much as I wanted to. You did good. I, did it was guilty of the massacre. I think next time that I play through, I will probably skip more of the side quest in like the Velen Novigrad area and instead do them in the Skellige area to level up and stuff. I know it took us forever to come here. I have like a one track mind. I'm sure you guys were on episode what, like 40? <laughs> you guys probably realized that like when I start a task, I must complete it. And it's the same way for me in games and like areas. Like I need to make sure that everything is done before I move on to the next portion. Um, so sometimes I struggle with like open world games because I want to complete that area and stay in there until it's 100% completed. And sometimes it just, it moves it along much more slowly, so. Respect, Witcher. I didn't even see you over there. You scared me. All right. Something I've always wondered. What did you Witchers do? <laughs> Giants are right. Huh? All right. You should be up here, I think. Like in here? I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to eat the black ones? I'd sooner eat the rights of bleeding Moorhawk than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Jarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What is it if not treason? Yeah, it sounds you're speaking very treasonous. You want to be the king by the grace of Nilfgaard? This is not a time to be bickering with people like clans together. You all need to work on the same page or else you're just all going to get overrun. What would you call it if not treason? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead. Try to take it. Get him. Oh, I don't want to kill him. Okay, we're killing him. Well, that's unfortunate. He died very quickly. <laughs> Much more quickly than I thought he was going to. Look at him! Karate kid over there. Oh, there's another one? Oh, oh they're archers. I'm gonna die. Let me get out of... Get out of my way, Erbian! Alright, is that everyone? <laughs> Jeez. It's unfortunate that he had to die like that. Okay. Well. Do treasonous things. Get treasonous charges. Should have came to some agreement of some sort. I probably should have said the second one. Now we're just fighting everyone around here. Come. We should not stay here. Okay. I was just about to ask, like, can we talk now? Where are we going? I'll watch Outside of the territory. Okay. Pathetic. All right, let's head out. Oop. Oh, I feel bad killing this guy. I feel like we, when we came in, he was so nice to us. All together. Oh, what? Where'd my sword go? What the heck? All right, let's get out of here.
feel like when I'm here, like on the top of the mountain, I just take like a deep breath and I can actually like feel the crisp air in my lungs. <laughs> true immersion it's just so pretty like you know that crisp smell when it's winter and you walk out and like you just take a deep breath and it feels like it goes in so much more smoothly crisp really stinks that they had to die. Couldn't risk them infiltrating like us from that side though, while Nilfgaard's coming from the water, like that would just be really bad. So maybe it's best that he and his people are no longer. Just wish we could have come to an agreement. Well, Geralt. I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. <laughs> the blood of Crocs blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. Oh no. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. <sighs> Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. Oh, man. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. Well, that's a good thing, right? That sounds like but a good thing. But why have you returned to Skellige? How serious? Yeah, first things first, how serious? <laughs> Before how we get serious into business. Things. As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will. Or fail. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Guys. Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulber is first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe elves interesting. But there's a scald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Mm, Fishlung. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him submerges for hours at a time. None wow. know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. <laughs> okay. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Oh, gaggle. Uh, gods protect us. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorceresses. Can't live with them, can't live without them. It's actually really funny. Tis true what my gran said. Whoa! No monster can get the better of ye. Morkbog has come and gone. Okay, crazy lady walking through the woods. Oh 
Coach, what are you doing up here? Causing mayhem. Slower. All right, get up this hill. Go, on, go. On. Oh boy. Let's go. All right, there we go. So we need to go talk to the bard known as Ivan, and also talk in long to find and talk to the pearl diver. Oh, there's a bandit camp over there. So yeah, I'm gonna head back down to like this first travel point. Um, looks like it's down here. Talk to the bard. I wonder how he is staying underwater for hours at a time. I don't understand what he means by I have my suspicions. Like he's lying about it. He's being, he's lying, like going up somewhere else or maybe using like magic or something. I don't know. He should be like down by the water, I think. Maybe he's this way. I know you're it's telling me to go this way. Oh, they're fighting. <laughs> Oops. Ooh, don't go over the cliff's edge. <gasps> oh, that scared me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Only like 30 meters out, so I think Slower. I might just park Roach right here. <laughs> Getting squirrely. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, hey, they mentioned something. Hey, I have more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gavorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. Hmm. What's... what is the whale? What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? So no. Never mind. <laughs> well, I'll watch with you. Let's watch for Gevorg together. And you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. It's so peaceful. How are the candles staying lit, though? <laughs> Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. <gasps> oh, but I'm Evan! Oh, Evan! What? <laughs> I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? <laughs> Rich Rhea, gathering material for an adventure novel. Yeah, let's not Writing tell him the novel, truth. Gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Try, my dear. Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? Uh, got a sail east from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the White Whale. <laughs> It'll show today. I'm sure of it. <laughs> We literally saw it and I I called out his name and he didn't even turn around. I'm not sure if it's because we like if I blew it because my hand wasn't on the mouse or if it's because he just misses it. I feel kind of bad for him. <laughs> I was trying so hard to get his attention. 
And I feel like I blew it for him. All right. So the sunstone one looks like it's pretty much um done, right? What about this Fisher dude? I guess it was just like a either or type situation where we can go talk to the pearl diver or we can go talk to the bard. Okay. Well, I thought that one was pretty interesting. So I didn't realize it was like an either or situation. I thought that's what um, Ermian had said, like, or you can go talk to the pearl diver. Um, but it was set up like, I don't know. The way that it was written out made it seem like I could talk to both of them. So that's okay. Let's go back and talk to Yen now that we know a little bit more. And I felt like I shouldn't have told um Ivan about everything that was going on because he might get like too worked up about it um or not care at all I felt like appealing to his like writing senses and being a writer was better so I don't know how it would have gone the other way um but he when we first came up to him he was talking about how Nilfgaard being under attack wasn't really come on his how did he word it oh my gosh Roach. He said it wasn't really his concern that he was just more interested in writing a ballad about this white whale. So Vacant. I feel like that was the better option to tell him that we're writing a story. All right. So there is a fast travel point over here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. After we read this notice board. Mattis has regained his honor. Mattis, who refused to go to sea for his Yarrow last spring, threw himself on his sword. He thus wiped away his shame and regained his good name. May the gods welcome him in their halls. The Council of Elders. Rogvi went out fishing and never returned. If you find his body, let me know. He was wearing a sheepskin vest and red threaded leggings. That's sad. Got a thirst for fame and glory? Come talk to me. We set for sail towards the Black One's lands. Good folk, beware of Peter, who is a grifter, has no honor, and is the scum of Skellige. The bear grease to he sold me turned out to be goose fat. May lightning strike him and the sea slurp him down. <laughs> Nilf Guardian helmet used? Selling a helmet scraped off of a Black One's head. Stiff was an officer once, it seems. And a contract. If you've gotten this far, clearly you know how to read. So read the rest and read it well. A wraith sprung up on Eldberg and covered the whole island fog. Put out a light in our lighthouse. If you're afraid to face a ghost in battle, stay far from Eldberg. For there you'll find nothing gold nor glory, only death. But if you face such phantoms before, then know that I, Yorin of Arnborn, will pay for my gold We'll pay my own gold if you drive off the spirit. A whole aisle. Okay. So. Let's go back up to this fast travel point. It's so peaceful there, out here. You looking for work by any chance? No. Oh. I am much too busy. I just feel like every time I come here, I have like a sense of calm. I just feel like more calm. I don't know. <laughs> oh, here's the end. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Really? Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there to retrieve something and he refused to take me with him it was all very strange sufficiently suspicious don't you think um i think it's a little bit weird yeah so what want to just sneak in and root around exactly coming with fine where is it on a small isle between undvik and speakerog not exactly on our way just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig, cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Where is she need going? Some real magic to get in too. Go find this laboratory. I will explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. 
Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. It's funny because if Yen were in that position, she would do the same thing. <laughs> She'd be like, I'm leaving. I don't care. It doesn't take time to mend. It's kind of strange that he refuses to take them there. I wonder if we can ask him about it. Lugie, Mr. Fancy Pants. Mr. Fancy Pants. Yes, Geralt? <sighs> yeah, we can't say anything. Okay. So long. Just kind of strange that he mentioned it, but then was like refusing to take her there. I don't know. It's pretty far away too. Looks like it's west of us. The Pally Gap Coast. Interesting. Okay. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Just going for a little dip. Try to wake up. Mighty warrior, that one. They smear your ass with poverty. You went for man in need. Did I pass the sign? No, it's right here. Who are there, Witcher? You looking for work, man? All right, so let's go over there. See what the heck is going on with this laboratory. I just want to look out real quick because it seems super pretty here. Like it's not as like cold and snowy, but there's still mountains and stuff. It's very pretty here. Entrance is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. Yeah. Remove the barrier. Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. This is kind of cool. We're doing a quest line with both of them. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. <laughs> it's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. Yatta Ligon! I'll take care of it. Oh, okay. Do I have any? No, I don't have any bombs. I think they don't like Demerity. Uh, the, uh, was it Puffball actually? I can't remember. What are they called? Elemental? Oh, just Golem. One minute, please. It's been a long time since I fought a Golem. Yeah, they're the Demeritium. Okay. Or Dimeridium, I think is what it's actually called. <laughs> I've been calling it the other way around for so long, it's hard to stop doing that. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that one in there instead. We don't have any health potions. Man, I should have meditated. Okay. <laughs> nothing we must look around like it's his home or something it's a bit low isn't it 
rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. Interesting. We literally just had this conversation about how he's only interested in the blood of Siri, but he obviously thinks she's pretty beautiful no if girls. he's drawing pictures of her. What is it? It seems someone was literally just here. What? But he's been on the ship. Yeah, we know that. Avalax on the ship. We know that. What if he's not? Stop. What? Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Okay. How can he be at two places at once, though? What's this? Carinthier is undoubtedly the most skilled navigator I've ever had the chance to train. Yet his rash temper and his tendency to make foolish risks has called his into questioning the possibility of ever using him for our purposes. Mm, rash temper? Tendency to make risks? I know Aridin is ready to put him through the trials now, which Carinthier in his pride would surely take as a sign of trust and not indifference. The fate of his predecessor clearly has not warning enough for him, or perhaps he truly does not, does have that much faith in his own powers. In light of the time I have devoted to him, I would like Carinthier to succeed. Interesting. What's this? <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Little candies and stuff? Interesting. A hairbrush? I feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Yeah, it's very, like, personal. Like, everything in here is very homey. Like, the rug hung up and stuff like that. Like, all the other laboratories that we've been to, it's just, like, a bunch of metal containers and gross stuff around. But this is very homey. For sure. Rihanna, oh yeah, this is Amadette, definitely a house. Fiona. Yen. This is his home. For sure, it's his home. Is this family tree? So cool. Genealogical chart of the Enhanicare, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me. You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalak has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Interesting. Yeah, only analyzed? He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. Yeah. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. That didn't seem... <laughs> okay, yeah, and that was super convincing. So it's not his family tree, it's... Wow super obsessed with this bloodline let's look at his notes gods 
He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Siri, but it's here later that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Interesting. He is like super obsessed though. Even down to the point of trying to recreate a scientific way to get this bloodline. Kind of eerie. It doesn't seem great. Super strange. He Something's spent there, beyond the door. so long studying this. And he has a picture of himself. He's a real weirdo. <laughs> a whole portrait of himself on the wall. Interesting. So someone's over there? Hmm. I'll sure know their fragrances. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Never a standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. Well, it's clearly his, like, home of some sort. I mean, we haven't found a bed, but it just seems like he spent a lot of time here. I mean, like Yen said, he spent forever just getting, studying Lara's genes. All right, so what do we do? There's someone else on the other side. Let's see what Avalok's really planning. There's someone in here. Who is that? How did you get in here? Who are you? Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. You. I remember you. From Tir Naliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. So what, is that like his significant other or something? Like, for example? Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. Lara's but details. I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's Aww. no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something <laughs> like that? It's humiliating. She's being so rude. Another and word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. Sounds like she's just jealous. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Yeah, you didn't actually believe her, did you? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's a uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. Yeah. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be. Mm. Maybe I said the wrong thing. I just don't want her to think that it's true. 
That girl, Siri. that woman is what? so. Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? What? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. Mm, yeah, go for it. Do it. I don't know. Do what you want to do. <laughs> I just want her to be happy. I just want her to feel like she is, she means as much as she is. It stinks to see her struggle so much. that face that face of like oh so you're gonna let me just destroy this place he should have told her what he was doing here or not even mentioned it and then have some woman here that's just rude to her like yeah go for it they're being biatches about it this makes me feel good <laughs> yen's not happy She has such a rough life. People lying to her, people using her, people just left and right trying to tell her what to do. Like, it's gotta be frustrating. So frustrating. Is she smiling? Can't tell if Yun's mad or not. I hope she's not mad. Siri needed that. <laughs> there, that's better. Let's get out of here. <laughs> um, she, <laughs> she gave him a mustache or <laughs> a goatee. It's actually really funny. I liked the touch, Yen. That was nice. Yeah, I just feel like everyone is always telling her what to do. Everyone's always, like, telling her how much she means and how powerful she is. But yet, it has to be so frustrating for her. And then come to find out that... Avalok might not be exactly who he says that he is. And he's just, just obsessed with her blood and like once this is all said and done Siri is just kind of like eh bye you were a chip on my sh shoulder anyways that has to suck to hear and I wanted her I just I felt bad being like no we need, we can't we can't hurt their home blah 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 like she deserved to have some vengeance she deserved to let out her anger she's probably so pent up Perhaps this was not a good idea after all. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindusfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... Wait, was Skjall that one... guy? What is it? Sorry. Oh, yeah, Skjall. Skjall is dead. I forgot that he died. The wild hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. Oh. Yes, we can go. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindusfjall? I can. Okay. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. I forgot that he died. When we were fighting the wild hunt alongside him. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards. Especially wandering them alone. I also do not like graveyards. 
Yeah, I don't like them either. Graveyards, not my favorite either. Why not? Remind me of work. Never been to a cemetery to visit someone's grave. Always hunting some ghoul or rot fiend. True. Oh, frankly, I'd rather have come here with a contract to do some witch's work. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. Why would they do that? I thought he was like, I know he was exiled because he ran away, even though he didn't. But, oh, um, why would they do that? I thought that he was given his rights back or whatever, however you say, like he wasn't exiled anymore because he fought the wild hunt alongside us. Maybe I'm making that up. That's so sad. I also feel like we should have buried him. Like, Yen did all that stuff to him to try to figure out where Siri was. Why didn't we bury him? Hmm. Who's that? What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. Your laws don't bind. Uh, yeah, they don't bind us. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the specters be wanting of some lass who- I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Oh. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said. Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. I liked that backbone that Siri got randomly. That was nice to see. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. I have no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Yeah, now that they know. Oh, she's Let's smiling. Go. That gave me goosebumps. <laughs> I don't know why, just like seeing Siri happy makes me really happy too. She's been through so much and she's such an important lady and... Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. I just want her to be happy. I mean, her life is hard enough. Plus, I think that the bond that Geralt and Siri have is like super... I don't know. I never really had like a father like that and I just... It warms my heart a lot to see, like, how they interact with one another. It's really wholesome to me. All right. So the next thing looks like to sneak on the Ember ship. I don't think... Meet Philippa. Oh, yeah. We have to go meet her in the Elven Runes as well. Pick Vrangela, find the Sunstone. Okay. So, yeah, we have to go meet Philippa back in the Elven Rune area. I think we should do that first. I'm going to do like this ship last because <laughs> I feel like that's just going to get crazy. Oh, again. Whoa, we looked around whoa, your laboratory. Whoa, I never doubted you would. But why did you? You might have just asked me. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood gene? Unlikely. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Eredin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Siri is exceptional. 
I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed with her. I'm obsessed. Let's see if he has anything yes, to say Carol. now. Yeah, we went to your laboratory. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Interesting. In whomever's veins it courses. Yeah, maybe it is all about Lara for you. That's what the lady said. I don't really trust the lady. I think that she has a lot of issues. Um, and I want to talk about her. But I thought it was interesting that she said that he mentioned Siri looks like Lara or has the likeness of Lara or something like that. So I just thought it was kind of strange. But I want to talk about um, the lady. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you not? Mm -hmm. A she elf claimed you hate Siri. So how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? Oh, uh, okay. So long. I want you to open up, Avalok. We're going through a lot right now. Jeez. Got a minute? Of course. <sighs> um, okay. So nothing else to say. I should go. To Siri. Right. We'll talk later. We're gonna see if we can talk to Yan, maybe. Geralt? No. Thanks, Yan. See you later. Okay. All right, everyone, that's it for today. What a amazing episode. I feel like everything that we did today was really, really important in kind of tying up some emotions, information, lore, pieces to the puzzle of figuring out how we're going to fight the Wild Hunt, how we're going to keep Siri safe, who is on Siri's side. I am just really, really excited to see what this sunstone does and when we finally get our hands on it. Okay, I need to get away from this guy. <laughs> Hopefully they'll leave me alone up here. I had to like go up to the upper deck because that guy would not stop saying about something about flexing. I think he was hitting on the guy that was scrubbing the deck. <laughs> so I feel like today was a really awesome episode in the main quest line of us just kind of getting all the puzzle pieces together. Puzzle piece grabbing and lore grabbing is one of my favorite things to do in a game right before like a huge quest. So I have been honestly loving every second of our journey so far here. And I'm also really glad that we are back in the Skellige area because I love this area, as you guys know. I hope we made the right decision when we talked to the person with Ermion and we ended up murdering him. He said that there will be like a small civil war because of us, but that it was a good thing because the new person in charge is actually apparently an idiot and that it will be a fast war, but also a short war. So... I feel like that is a good thing and we might have actually never helped them out a little bit in the Skellige area with Nilfgaard right on their shores, doing all the things that they're doing. They don't need another civil issue going on right now. It will just weaken their defenses and Skellige will fall. And that is the last thing that I want for these poor people is to be taken over by Nilfgaard. Next time, I am super interested to see what happens with the Sunstone see what happens with when we go talk to the ember and we haven't actually talked to him since we found siri so i am very interested to see how the conversation goes if he is willing to actually hand over fringilla to us i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode as much as i did and i will see you on the next one as a quick note real quick, I am going to start putting memberships out on YouTube and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that has been watching this Witcher video so far, watching my journey here, still following me after episode like 40 something and enjoying this crazy awesome ride with me and I'm also planning on playing a lot more Let's Plays on the channel. As you guys definitely know, I've been playing a ton of Mass Effect lately 
and hopefully in the future i can start putting out videos on saturday and sunday for the witcher that was my plan for this past weekend but my family got super sick so we've all been having an awesome time this week and that's why this video is late also but i just wanted to let you guys know that i will be putting out memberships and there's three tiers the first one gives you access to some pretty awesome community posts so i'll be put posting more updates as well as discord role and some other really cool stuff so if you want to check it out on monday morning i will be starting my youtube memberships and i did not think that i would be here honestly but things have been going so well and i really want to form more of a community here you guys know how much i love commenting with you all in the sec in the comment section and getting to know some of you guys so i feel like memberships are a really awesome way to get to know you all a little bit more and give you guys some more updates and things to look forward to and some polls and a way to kind of talk to you all a little bit more than just through my comments in the youtube videos if you are interested in becoming a member it does support me on this channel as well and will give me more of an incentive to make more awesome videos for you guys. Nothing will be changing. If you wanna be a member, you can be a member. If you don't wanna be a member, you definitely don't have to be a member. Nothing will be different. It's just a little extra me for you guys. Place to hang out, some other really cool perks that you guys can look through, as well as loyalty badges and emojis that we can use. So thank you all so much for all the love to these videos. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Bye everyone.